Okay, here we go. First uh, game of the evening. Let me introduce to you the first team. We got on this side, we got here Team Unboostable with Savage Hears, Evil Kolben, and Oxy DH versus Team Nugget with Resto Druid, Yore, Bebop on Shadow Priest, and Blade Master on Arms Warrior. Here we go. Game started. DH running out of control. Vielleicht kommentiere ich das auch einfach in Deutsch. Ist nämlich schwierig, das auch ad hoc auf Englisch zu machen. Ähm, vielleicht gewöhne ich mich in Zukunft dran, aber äh, ich glaube, ich mache es erstmal auf Deutsch. Ähm, sorry dafür erstmal. Bebop kriegt hier ordentlich einen eingeschenkt. Äh, hat den äh, Dark Angel am Laufen. Blade Master used all of his cooldowns. Avatar is running and gets cloned uh, by Savage Shields. Bebop. Dispersion has been used. Double fear here, the heal and the DH as well. Evil Kolben it drops low. Last usage and goes down. What is, what a CC change. Here, <laughs> it's a bit, uh, it's a little bit weird to uh, talk in English the whole time, but maybe I'll mix it up with some German. So uh, don't blame. Don't blame me. It's a, a lack of English uh, knowledge. Mach mal das Hello Fresh one das in. Ja, kann okay, ich machen. Rematch, wer fehlt? Da fehlt einer in dem Team. Okay. Alle vollständig. Ein Punkt hier für äh, Team Nugget. Knockwood Arena. Here we go. Oh, der hat ein nices Transmog hier, der Warrior. So, <lacht> Bladestorm wird gleich gezogen. Power Infusion ist hier rein. Vampir Umarmung wird auch gezogen. Und Savage Shields pumpt hier in seinem Tree. Genauso wie Jore. Beide mit Full Trends ab. Hier kommt der Swap auf Savage Shields. Ich versuche mal hier ein bisschen raus zu scrollen, um alles zu sehen. Äh, vier hier auf äh, Savage Shields. Und der Shadow haut jetzt wieder rein. Jore kriegt hier ordentlich hier Druck ab. Kann sich aber hier noch toppen. Muss aber hier seinen Iron Bark äh, traden. Holy shit. Master Spell. And Yoru gets trained the whole time. Life swap here from Bebop. Clone of Oxy DH. Evil Kolben gets uh, kicked. And there's the swap again on the Resto Druid. Can he take it? He's sitting uh, in bear. He's trying to kite around the pillar. But is it enough? He has to reapply hots on himself. And he's low life in execute range. And he gets topped. What the heck? This is so close, man. And we got to remember Team 2 is here uh, on his match point. So Team 1 has to win this round. Otherwise, it's the first team in the lower bracket. Savage Shields sitting in tree and is pumping, is pumping. Both druids are low on mana, maybe 40%. 
at 10% dampening. Iron Bark gets traded. Double the sword. A kick on Shadow Priest. Power Infusion is running. And is it the decision? Clone on Yore. Blade Master is dropping low. Swap on Yore again. There's big damage coming in right now. Oh, Jesus Christ. But he's sitting in tree. So, oh, he, the tree is running out. So now it's getting dangerous for Yore here. He's trying to fake cast the Demon Hunter. But we all know Demon Hunter can't be fake casted. <laughs> there he goes. He, he gets the clone. But it, is it enough? Savage shields. Innovate is up for the big heals. And there has to be something. There has to be something uh, for Team Nugget to win this match point. Innovate also running with the tree. And now I think the decision is done by the lack of mana. And that's the even point. I don't know how to call it, but it's 1-1. Uh, for unboostable versus nugget here we go one oh one one both teams unboostable versus nugget i love it uh, to call them by their team names makes it so much more fun okay this team who wins this round will be in the next uh Spot of the upper bracket and the loser team goes down in the lower bracket. Yo, yo, wie läuft's? Yo, Banks, der, was geht ab? Junge, es ist, uh, die, es ist schade, dass du heute nicht dabei bist, Junge. Wir haben schon wieder eine, eine exquisite Auswahl an Playern und uh, es freut mich ungemein, dass das auch heute stattfindet. So. Schade, dass du nicht da bist. Here we go. Next round. The throwing glaive here from the DH. The defensive fear and opener from... Uh, which uh, keybind is it? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Sorry for that. Und das in so einer Stunde da, vielleicht für später. Ja, ich weiß nicht, das wird sich, glaube ich, ziehen. Okay, Fear on Savage Shields. And they are pumping. They're going on Yorel. They, they want to kill this uh, Rester Druid. And I can tell you, I uh, played several times Rester Druid in these tournaments. And, oh. I got one-shotted several times. Because I wasn't aware of it. Rest of Druid is not a heal, uh, uh, easy healer position in this tournament. I can tell you. But he's doing better than me. <laughs> and that's good. Iron Bark gets traded. Here. Re <laughs> the damage on Evo Kolben. But get instantly topped by Savage Shields. The clone on Shadow Priest. To get some damage out of the way. And again, the full burst on the Arrestor Druid. B but he lives it somehow. I don't know how he does it, but he lives it. Red Deutsch, red du doch Deutsch. Learn English. <laughs> <laughs> das Halunke wieder. <laughs> ja, das Klassiker. Stun, Fear on Savage Shields. He had to use Trinket. And here, big swap on Jore. He puts the Tranquility out. He's safe. But the DPS are connecting. 
<laughs> the second it was over. Clone here on Shadow Priest. The Shadow Priest also has life swap to uh, stop Yoru from dying. But they are uh, uh, trying to get the cross CC done. So Savage Shields is always uh, cloning the priest when Yori gets low. <laughs> oh man. Not an easy life for Yori. Savage Shields uh, much more mana advantage. Bebop low, your low. Execute range and is it it? Yes, team unboostable goes right to the next round. Jesus Christ. Well played, well played. Unboostable, the winner here. That means team nugget goes down in the, into the lower bracket and unboostable will play in the next... Uh, in the fifth round. So, Nerves of Steel and We Got Snoopy is, uh, are the next competitors. Let me introduce you. Second match of the evening. Let me clean out the points. On this side, we got Team Nerves of Steel. We got Cloudy Chan on Holy Priest. Uh, Ryu Ra Ryu on DH and sank yourself on Red Paladin against on team we got Snoopy we got Ray on Mistweaver Snoopy on Feral and Yankovic on Beastmaster here we go here we go here we go the team is starting slow. Double uh, stun here from uh, Snoopy on both enemy DPS. And the the red gets trained. Hodge here on Snoopy. He has to sit the full Hodge. Snoopy sits the bear and tries to get uh, uh, some clones off. He comes to swap on the uh, Beastmaster. Oh, my camera is stuck. Okay, here we go. Swap on uh, DH. He goes low. Is Cloudy uh, able to uh, get him back up? The low clone here on the DH. Immediately a uh, trinket. Thank yourself, Bubble. Okay, the <laughs> team we got Snoopy is forcing every defensive they got. Sno <laughs> Snoopy. It's taking them all out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. Okay, swap on Snoopy. He drops. Oh, gefährlich low on dieser Stelle. Jesus Christ. Ray uh, got him topped. Everything fine. They are applying pressure onto the red. Vengeance shield used. Clone on the DH. Maybe they swap clones now. In cap on Cloudy Chan. Both healers are out of the way. Snoopy drops. Oh. Really low. That was really fucking close, man. That was really close. He's uh, still in trouble, but he gets uh, gets tapped. So everything is fine. I, I can tell you. I can tell you which team will be win. I can tell you. Thank yourself. Stun here. Clone on DH. There we go. The big bites are hitting. Okay, fear on Snoopy. Sank yourself. Still low. We got the diamond trap on Cloudy. Big pressure here. Big pressure. Stun. Both DPS are stunned. And is it the kill? Vengeance shield here. Can Cloudy top uh, sank yourself? L 
Oh, they got nothing left. And there he goes down. That was close, man. There were, uh, there were like uh, two situations where Snoopy dropped uh, uh, under 10%, maybe. That was really close. Okay. Match point, uh, we got Snoopy here. Let's see uh, what they are doing in the next game. Oh, Snoopy got the gladiator mount uh, from the season. Congratulations. He finally got it. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, double stun here. Oh, they stunned each other. And Snoopy is trying to apply pressure here. He gets below 50%. But Ray is doing his best uh, to top Snoopy. Or maybe I can get him in, into the uh, target. He's applying dots, man. It looks so crazy. Sank yourself. 50%. DH also gets uh, low. Maybe there's a low clone. Stun on Snoopy here. He, st <laughs> he stuns them back. Clone here on Cloudy Chan. A DR clone. And the bubble has to be traded here from Sank Yourself. Good play. Fear on Snoopy. Here comes the dispel. Kick on the uh, clone. Snoopy has to swap into Bear. Is 50% live. Ray sits in, in, in the cage. And got difficulties to top Snoopy back uh, to full life. But the healing uh, is uh, coming. Swap on Jankovic. Darkness has been dropped. And it's match point uh, team we got Snoopy. So uh, team Nerves of Steel has to do something here. And I can't tell quite. Okay, Angel from Cloudy Chan. Snoopy, Cocoon has been traded. Jankovic low. Here comes the blinding light. Thank yourself. Clone on Chan. Sank is uh, dangerously low. <laughs> Here comes the life swap. Sank yourself. Still the target of choice here for team uh, We Got Snoopy. Sank. <laughs> I don't know, will he die? Is uh, Cloudy Chen able to get him back to life and thank yourself goes down? And I don't know, there's not much uh, Team Nerves of Steel can do at this point. So I would say they made it. They turned the match point into a total win of the second match of this evening. We're gonna take a look at the bracket. Well played here from Nerves of Steel and we got Snoopy, but team we got Snoopy goes up into the next round. And Nerves of Steel, you are fighting in the lower bracket. But the next game we will see it this even is evening is Boys with Skirts versus Halunke is Schuld. Macht euch ready, wir gehen rein. Drittes Match am heutigen Abend. All right, let me introduce you. Team Boys with Skirts. Healed by Trucky on his uh, Holy Priest. We got Amistad on his Marksman Hunter and Nin on Outlaw Rogue. We see a Thug Cleave here, quite interesting. Against Halonka on Mistweaver Heal, Achilles DH, and Xanuka on his Arms Warrior. Maybe Halonka is playing uh, Fist Weaver. So that uh, it's quite interesting. D 
DH. Swap on Sanuka. The hunter is sniping from the back of, uh, in the back of the arena. Swap on Halunke. He has to use his paw to not getting one shotted here. And taps himself. He's playing Mist Reaver, the, the classic uh, spec. But we've seen a lot of Fist Reavers in the last tournaments as well. Amistad. Still trying to get range between his uh, b between himself and the other dps but they are charging him but they need clean ki uh, setups they need like a kidney on here followed by a trap and uh, triple sheep shot the kill target and maybe uh, scatter the off oh they, there comes the swap on halunk what the fuck what am i talking i'm talking about setups and they just kill the healer Jesus Christ, what did they do? Man, what a win at this point. Team Trucky, uh, uh, in other words, team boys with uh, skirts doing a really great job here. I'm amazed. Okay, match point. Team uh, boys with skirts. Mm hmm. Here we go. And there comes the... Jesus Christ, the opener is so scary. Especially a marksman hunter with sniper shot. Uh, uh, out of in uh, invis. It's crazy. Ahilles DH almost died in the opener. What, the, what are they doing? Defensive fear here from uh, Sanuka. And they try to kill uh, the uh, the marksman hunter. Big damage income right now. <laughs> but Halanki gets uh, killed almost the second time. But they're trading here uh, darkness. Swap on Sanuka. Die by the sword has to be traded for this one. I missed that. 50% life. There comes the revenge. Trucky is flying up into the air and is healing his team from above. Ahilles DH. And Amistad is uh, trying to kite both of the DPS. 50% life. Gets topped here by uh, life swap. DH low, Amistad both both are low. <laughs> Kitten here on DH. Uh, I played Marksman uh, Hunter by myself and it's quite fun. To get big sniper sh uh, sniping shots out. And almost one shot the enemy player. And Amistad oh, has turtle on 1% life. What? Holy shit, that was close. That was really close. Go here on Achilles. Oh, Hill is DH. Nin, 50% life. Nin is, is going down. Evasion has to be traded here. Amistad, also low. 
Chucky uh, ha has a difficult time to top his uh, teammates. And Ahilis and Xanuka are spamming pure damage at this point. Chucky is ohm. And em Emistad goes down. And that's... And that's uh, one point. One point for uh, team... I don't know. Halunke is schuld. Nice comeback. Nice fucking comeback at this point. That's crazy. We get 1-1. One, one. It's match point for both teams. We will see. Alright, here we go. Match point both teams. Boys with skirts versus Halunke is schuld. Here we go. Halunki, the opener straight onto the healer, but gets stopped here from uh, Ahilis DH. He's stopping the the hunter here from applying damage. Swap on Ahilis DH here. Fear on Trucky. Amistad can go down. Is there a cooldown? Turtle is uh, the trade here. No overlap. Angel here from Trucky to top uh, his uh, teammates. Halonke is running. <laughs> and here we go. Oh, there's a trap random thrown into the arena. Amistad and Nin both are low. Ahil is DH. Netherwalk. And he gets killed through Netherwalk. What the fuck? What a game. Jesus Christ. Not even two minutes. Oh, sad. But that's... That's the point. That's the point. Good job here. Uh, team boys uh, with skirts. Really good. Really good. So, boys with uh, skirts goes... Uh, up into the next round in the upper bracket and team Halonke is Schuld is playing in the lower bracket. Here we go. All right, here we go. Next round. Sorry for, for the... <laughs> we got here on this team. Which team is it? I forgot the name. Shit. It's uh, looking for members here with the rest of Druid 1.7. What a legend name. I love it. And uh, DH Berserker and DK Danuni versus uh, Team The Brain Deads with uh, Deep End on his uh, Mist River Healer, BDS FG, FGG <laughs> on his DH. And Deep End gets low and has to trade Cocoon here. Manchester Windwalker. All right, here we go. Let's see what they are doing. 1.7 is pumping the heat, sitting the bear with this heart of the white active to get the regeneration stacks and pops this tree. No, the tree is uh, was running out. And what they are, are they doing now? So Deep End uh, is using his ball. Berserker and Danuni both are low. 1.7 has to uh, pump the hots here to get his uh, team back up. But uh, don't forget to keep one stack of Life Bloom at yourself. Otherwise, uh, you might get one-shotted. Just, just a commentary from a Rest of Druid's uh, player's uh, perspective. Holy fuck, they are training 1.7. They are training them. They want to kill this guy. Holy. But what they are doing? Berserker is... Maybe maybe he got a uh, disconnect? I don't know. But there we go. They go in on deep end. And there's the double stun. And it, it, it is Cocoon again. The second Cocoon on a swap. And Jesus Christ, man. That's so much damage. 
I don't want to switch uh, spots with the healers here right now. This is so annoying. Uh, last Wednesday, we've uh, seen the patch with the DH nerves, but hmm, I don't know <laughs> if they <laughs> were good <laughs> or enough. Darkness traded here. 1.7. Maybe out of mana. Deep end. Swap on deep end. Can he lift that? And he comes the next. Uh, the next stun. And deep end goes down. Whew. Not bad. Not bad at this point. First point goes to team looking for Mampas. Not bad. Not bad. Jesus Christ. What a game, what a game. I hope he's back. Okay, he's back, okay. All good. I was wondering in the match before, but you have to tell me, I can't see everything. So if you got DC or something like that, please tell me. And he get, and what they are they, are they doing? They are deleting him. And they made the thing. Jesus Christ. I know it's uh, quite difficult. Yeah, we are totally professional uh, in this bracket and in this evening organization, so we got a solution for everything. <laughs> okay. On this team, we got Kick You in face on uh, Mistweaver and Oxy DH on uh, DH is uh, sure an evil Kolben on his Evoker. And on the other side, we got Nessie on his Restoration Shaman and Fire Mage. That's the first mage we've seen since a long time. Okay, I see. Um, I'm sorry, but uh, we don't tolerate uh, any kind of blaming or anything in my uh, Twitch chat. Especially not when you're the person who was uh, playing a shuffle while your teammates are waiting on... Uh, waiting for you. So behave yourself uh, in my chat, please. Evil Kolben. Below 50% we see the combustion from Azers. Azuris. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this name correctly. Sorry for any failure I've do I'm doing. But we get the counter spell on kick you in your face. The ring goes down. And I was about to say so does uh, Azuras, but he's kiting the DPS on low health. He got stunned. He has to block here. Cauterize procced also. Azuras. Okay. Deathly. 50% life. Also has his life swap and the dispersion. Evil Kolben under 10%. And gets traded the... As this goes, goes down, man. What, what, what a game. Okay, there's, there's one point for, man. I have to look what, what team is playing. We got so many swap uh, swaps uh, in between the teams, cause players were missing and so on. So I have to uh, take a look. We got match point here. For team unboostable, in my opinion. Okay, here we go. Rematch. Match point here, team unboostable.
Okay, the shaman is uh, building up stacks. Uh, he's killing the statue from the monk. But there's a new one. Okay, they are playing really defensive here. I don't know why. Okay, there we go. Combustion is used on the startup. Cocoon traded here. Fear on kick you in your face. Swap here on Oxy DH. 50% life. Both DPS are running out of the wall totem. Netherwalk has been traded here. And Azos is uh, low life here. But he still got cauterized and his uh, block. Oh, that was low. That was the cauterized proc. And Nessie uh, got a hard job to uh, get Azos back to life. And what the heck was this? Precock Masters got it. They had a really good comeback here. Jesus Christ. What a comeback. They are still fighting. But... It's quite clear who won this uh, won this match. Cocoon traded here, but I let them play. I let them play. If they decide to uh, still try to win this game, we've seen it in the last AWC when Echo faced uh, uh, Team Liquid. They also played a two v two in one of their sets. Poly here on uh, the monk. Repoly darkness has been traded here, but Nasi got a quite good job to keep them alive. Poly here on uh, Oxy DH. I don't think uh, they will make it, but he topped uh, Oxy DH. Polly here. Nessie gets trained here from Oxy DH. Lasso behind the wall. And there he goes down. And nice try. But Team Precock Masters got it. One point. We got both team uh, both uh, teams on match point right now. Oh, okay. I see now. Okay. We got uh, the Evoker swapped uh, to DK this round. Okay. Nice one. This is, uh, I think, the first swap uh, we, we see in this tournament. So maybe they can get this match point. And here we go. Mage uh, The mage almost died Cauterize prox here And Nessie has to top his uh, his mage right now Oh that's so much damage Man Jesus Christ almost dead but he has to be aware. There's only... He got uh, Ice Block. Yeah, indeed. But... Um, Cauterized proc. So there's no cheat death in this game for this mage anymore. So we will see what they are doing. They are hunting the fire mage right now. But we got a life swap. Okay, th there we go. DK is dropping low. Straining anti magic shield right now. But uh, the mage and the shadow are pumping damage. They're pumping hard. Cocoon also has been traded. Azurus 
has to block here. And DK goes down. Or... Low poly here on uh, the DK. Poly swap here, maybe, on the monk. No, he it doesn't get it. A ring was placed here into the middle of the arena. Anti-magic shield is now on, uh, on cooldown. So maybe they can burst one of the DPS down. And DK Colm gets a lot of damage. It goes down here in OxyDH also. Low life. Man, what are they doing? They had a really good comeback. I mean, in the first game, the mage dies uh, almost immediately. And then the next two games, they are fighting their way back up and win the series. Uh <laughs> God. Jetzt muss ich mich konzentrieren hier. Ooh, close one. Here we go. First game, first game, first game win. Nice. Well played, GG's.
Wie er läuft. He's running for his life. <lacht> ah. So big damage now. Let's kill him. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't die, don't die, please. I got big burst. Silence here. Trap. Nice. Please be safe. <sighs> well played, team. Okay, we got here. Boys with skirts with the lovely Thug Cleave and Trucky on his holy priest. Then we see on the other side that Druid with the best name of the entire tournament today and the best name I've ever seen. We got 1.7 on this Resto Druid with Berserker and Danuni. These three uh, guys are forming the group looking for members. So who's gonna win? We will see. Danuni drops low. Icebound and uh, Enter Magic Shield have been traded. Amistad. Amistad. Uh, we saw Amistad on Marksman in the games before. He's playing Beastmaster right now. Okay, that's a nice change. But we will see how they're doing. 1.7 here. Get trained by the Rogue. Amistad as well by the two DPS. By the two midis. Turtle must be the trade here. Yeah, Trucky is flying right now, tries to top his uh, teammate, but they are mo most likely going onto the BM Hunter. Amistad is going low! Oh, and he's going down as well. Man. Crazy. And uh, thank you, uh, Bobka and uh, Lazarin, for following my stream. You're welcome. Okay, first game. Team uh, 
Looking for members, got the first point. And now have the match point. And boys with skirts have to tune up a little bit. Here we go. Rematch here. We got match point here for team looking for members and let's see how boys with skirts are doing this round here okay they are most likely going on uh, 1.7 here i mean how dare you uh trying to beat up someone who got this nice name man i don't understand amistad and nin both are Low life, Amistad has to trade here the turtle while Trucky was uh, sitting in CC from the DK. But also darkness have been, uh, has been traded. Jesus Christ, Gouch here on 1.7. Amistad is going low life here, under 50%, but Trucky trades his guardian angel to save Amistad from dying kidney here on 1.7 and there we go there's big damage coming across the druid here but he got this he got this what can i say but uh what we are seeing here is Amistad back on his uh starter uh, speci uh, specialization uh he's playing marksman right now last game we have seen him on uh Beastmaster life swap here, traded from Trucky uh, into blind from DK, and MS Dead is really low, and it's getting uh, quite dangerous here. And can he die? No, Trucky is pumping heals, man. He's pumping heals. Nin also low. That's a, that's a hard job for Trucky here to get their team ba uh, teammates back to life. And MS Dead is low. Is he going to die? Yes. He's going down and looking for members is saving this match point and goes right into the next round. But that's not uh, all we've seen from boys from uh, boys from boys with skirts. They are going down into the lower bracket and they will face uh, unboostable in the lower bracket. Then all right, we got here precock masters with Nessie on Resto Shaman. Azers on his Fire Mage and Deathly on his Shadow Priest against the jungle, the, the special jungle team. We got Snoopy on his Feral Druid. Recently did the Gladiator of Season 3. Yanko on his Beastmaster Hunter and Ray on Mistweaver. Good luck to both teams. I'm very hyped. I'm very hyped. Here we go. Snoopy. Still an entrance typing some commands to his uh, teammates what they are going to, going to do in this matchup they're getting in position right now to get a clean opener and here we go yes and here the the, the shadow priest tried to avoid the the stun trap from yanko and gripped uh, the shaman but yanko trapped landed the trap Really nice play here. Good counter play as well. And we will see here big damage. A lot of damage coming across the both cloth. Uh, cloth, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to find new words I can say so I don't have to repeat myself the whole time. But <laughs> the mage gets trained here. He's, he's eating those damage abilities. Uh, here we go. Ring on fr uh, ring of frost onto the pets. Would be a nice move uh, when he maybe had uh, 
combustion up, but he's spamming the polys. Spamming the polys. Remember, he counterized Proct, and Nessie has to be aware of his teammate. Snoopy gets insane damage, drops low, get, uh, gets uh, topped by Ray. And block here from Azos. Azos left with only mirror images as the only defensive cooldown. And we got wall traded, we got link traded. Snoopy also did! Imagine this damage Snoopy took! What the heck? He almost died in this. Jesus Christ. What is happening? Here comes the clone. Here comes the clone. Here's where uh, uh, Ray is spamming. Here it's. There comes the, the stun on Ray. Azaz and clone. Maybe the swap clone comes? No, the kick from uh, Nessie into Cocoon and uh, <laughs> he's getting stunned. Jesus Christ. All big defensive cooldowns also from uh, we got Sno Team We Got Snoopy traded here. And Yankovic uh, has to sit in frog. Azaz here. Big damage on Azaz. Got topped here by Nessie. And Snoopy is uh, charging in. Spirit Link. Oh. Life swap and the, the whole team is dropping now. The whole team is dropping now. Nessie has quite difficulties to get his teammates back to life. We got here the combustion from Azaz. Is it enough? We got stunned. He's playing Blink stun as well. Good choice in this composition here to uh, get some damage off fear here onto Snoopy and Ray. Both times clone here on Shadow Priest. Big damage here on uh, the Fire Mage. Lasso on Snoopy to stop the damage income. Oh man, what are they doing? This is so crazy. Moin Blackstar, herzlich willkommen. Schön, dass du da bist. As a slow here. But Nessie. It, is doing a great job topping this fire mage i know fire mage eats a lot of damage especially with hunter and a feral uh, and feral like snoopy as well okay wall totem has been traded cocoon second co cocoon by the way on snoopy here because um uh, pre masters are forcing a lot of cooldowns and trading insane damage both team are doing as a slow, can he die? Trap on Nessie and he's, he's going down. Well played from we got uh, Snoopy. Gee, that was a close one. Snoopy almost died in, uh, I don't know, in the second go. Almost in the opener. That was crazy. Well played. Both teams here. I mean, they are still playing, so I don't... Uh, Mark the point here. Deathly low. Yanko both are low. Fear here on Ray is it? Imagine Yanko dies at this moment and he's still low. What is what is happening? What is happening? Imagine if they they would kill Yanko. And have to go uh, like 2v2. Man, this insane, insane game we've seen here right now. It's not over yet. But I think the decision is already done, but... They need the kill now on the Shadow Priest to get this finished. Yeah, and then he, there he goes down. Point here for, uh, for uh, Team We Got Snoopy, but really, really, really good performance here from Precock Masters. <laughs> and I, I, wanna, I want to see a rematch. I want to see this rematch. They, they are doing really good. Especially, that's the first Fire Mage or Mage we we seen or we are seeing here in this tournament for a long time never did a tournament where we got a mage in it that's what i wanted to say not bad not bad okay 
They are uh, both teams are trying to get good positions uh, for the first damage uh, thing. There we go. There comes the stun into a diamond trap and damage here on fire mage and that that was cauterized proc in the first go. That was cauterized in the first go. He said he has nothing left besides uh, mirror images and uh, his block. They're trying to get uh, Jankovic down, but Ray got got his team. Ray got his team. Snoopy's uh, dropping low, got the Heart of the Wild going, and he's pumping damage. He's pumping damage. There's the block. Also the block. Shadow uh, uh, Shadow gets cloned here by Snoopy. Snoopy and Yenko both low and although they did quite amazing damage in the opener it doesn't mean they are winning this team because uh, team precog masters are really re really explosive in some situations okay Snoopy and that's what I meant like Snoopy gets Train down here, Ray still in fear, and Snoopy goes down. What a hey, what a comeback here from Precog Masters. What are we watching here? Holy, what a comeback! Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, they did amazing CC here on Ray. In this, uh, that is a comeback. Holy fuck. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. What is happening here? We got the 1-1 one, one now. Match point. Both teams, the team that wins the next round will go into the uh, uh, into the next round. The, te uh, the team who is losing is going down into the lower bracket. Okay, here we go. Match point. Both teams. Okay, here we go. We got the trap here going on Nessie and we got Snoopy <laughs> got knocked back on the opener down. He had to trinket the lasso. Then the static field told him that they are trying to keep Snoopy uh, downstairs. And there we go. There comes the combustion. Big damage here on Snoopy and uh, wall totem also has been placed. And Snoopy again almost got uh, 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 got knocked down, but he stepped back to the mage while this was happening. And we see insane gameplay here. Jankovic is dropping low. And here, here we go. Big damage here on Ezers. Kick on uh, kick into silence shot here on Nessie. And Snoop, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening here. Snoopy is chas chasing the fire mage around the pillars. Is uh, trying to get clones off. Uh, has to sit this uh, lasso. Oh no! We got. We see here a uh, turtle from Yankovic. Ma maybe a fat finger. Purple haze. Nabend. Herzlich willkommen. Schön, dass du da bist. Snoopy got kicked. Oh man, I, I can feel the adrenaline which is rushing through the veins of the people here competing in this uh, setup. Man, Ezra's goes down. Spirit Link. Kick here on Ezra's. A bit damage here on the healer. Combustion is running. Big combustion here on Jankovic. And is he living? Uh, he's living. He's still living, but he's still low. Ray can uh, top here. Got the stun here from the priest into a polymorph from the mage. And Jankovic gets insane damage. May maybe he's missing out the turtle. He fat fingered, kinda, uh, earlier that game. But maybe that is all tactical because they know that uh, it's gonna be a long game and he wants to have turtle back in time. And here we go. Uh, okay. Azers had had to trade the block. Fear here on Ray. <laughs> Do it, HDF. Such a fat finger. <laughs> Jankovic again. Below 50% health. 
Holy crap. And he got topped back up. And he's living. Ezra's goes down. Life swap here from the Shadow Priest. And here comes the Ring of Frost. Clones were cast by Snoopy. Got kicked. And now it's uh, getting dangerous. Yankovic getting low. He's kind of downstairs. But Ray could reach him and trade uh, Cocoon here for Yankovic. The wall totem is laying down here for Team Precog Masters. And Fire Mage, the, the life of the Fire Mage is it's, it's jumping up and down. And Yankovic also down. I don't know where to look right now because both are dropping and Yankovic goes down. Oh my god, and they did it. The the Precog Masters did it and killed Yanko here and Snoopy right after. That means we got the match point here for, for uh, Team Precog Masters. What a legend game. What a legend game. Puh. Ich hab nicht gekriegt, dass Hunter gestorben ist, Alter. Boah! Junge, well played. Okay, okay. Let me take a quick look on what we are seeing right now. We got on this side. 
We got Halunki on his Mistweaver heel. Xanuka on his Warrior. And Ahilles DH on his DH, obviously. And on the other side, we got we got team we got Snoopy. We still see Ray on Mistweaver, Snoopy on his Ferry Druid, and Yanko on his Beastmaster Hunter. I wish both teams best of luck and we will see who is going to make it to the next round. Okay, stun here on Halunki, <laughs> and he pulls back and let it straight into the diamond trap. Unlucky move here. Ahilles DH got big damage here incoming, especially uh, as well as Xanuka. He has to trade his die by the sword, and all this happens in, in the first 30 seconds. Snoopy, big damage here on Snoopy, under 50% race done here. Stormbolt here on Snoopy. Cocoon has been traded. I don't know if this was necessary right now, but uh, better too much than the less. Oh, I don't know how to call it. Clone here on Halonki. Halonki. <laughs> Halonke. Sn Snoopy eats the most damage here. Has to sit in bear. While they are uh, while they are bursting, and we got the kick here from uh, the warrior as well, so the clones uh, uh, the clones can be spammed now. But Halunke is doing quite a good job to keep the uh, his uh, teammates alive. Sitting here in the uh, diamond trap gets uh, an in cap afterwards to extend the CC chain. But Snoopy is eating all the damage. Man, oh, this is crazy. That's uh, Feral is, uh, I would say, the hardest job. I mean, in this composition, uh, of course, but Feral is so squishy sometimes, and he really needs to get this clones to get value of his damage procs. So, yeah, if there's no time to get. Uh, the warrior blade storms into the ring here. Cocoon traded on Snoopy. That That is the second one. And we need to really see damage right now. We need them to... Yeah, maybe... Maybe warrior is a good choice here. But also the DH can die. And now Snoopy uh, can get some damage off here. But... Uh, man, Xanuka... Below 50% gets tra uh, 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 gets the cocoon here. Halunki in the diamond trap. Clone here on Ahilles DH. Reclone here. Uh, uh, clone here on the warrior. Netherwalk needs to be traded here. Big defense here from Ahilles DH. Swap back to Sanuka while he is played storming. We, he also got the Warbreaker and Avatar back in 8 seconds. Also got the Die by the Sword. Here we go. Here comes the clone. Snoopy got kicked or? Yes. Should be. Avatar is running. Snoopy is dropping low and now they have to play defensive. Cocoon, the third Cocoon has been traded here on the offensive uh, cooldown from the Arms Warrior of the opposite team. Clone here on Ahilles. And there we go. Here comes the clone on the monk. And now we want to see big damage here. Trinket was used by uh, Halonke and Ray, both quite at the same time. And Snoopy is running. He's kiting the DPS. He, oh yeah, he has a hard job here to to stay alive and he's running he's trying to kite while the hunter is uh, trying to get damage off here and there we go 
Kick on Halunke. Ahilis DH down. Gets the cocoon here at this side. And now they have to swap on the warrior. To get maybe the uh, die by the sword as well. And maybe get a chance to kill here. But it's still the first game, right? It's still the first game, so everything is open. Yeah, Snoopy, your 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 fans are shouting into my chat. They are they want you to win. <laughs> oh, so much damage. Both Halunki is out of mana now. Ray got better mana management and now Hellas DH goes down! What a gameplay! That is really at the last spot here on the last point of mana Halonke has at this point and Ahilis DH goes down. There was nothing left to do. Maybe offensive in... No, no, there was nothing to do at this point. So really good from the jungle team here from uh, Team We Got Snoopy. Won the first round here in the lower bracket. What we are seeing now is the rematch the best of three games uh, between We Got Snoopy and Halunke is short. Yeah. Cheering uh, to, <laughs> to Snoopy. Hanoni, you, you're doing great. And here, first go on the healer here. And we got uh, <laughs> the port and the trap again. Drink it uh, immediately from Halunki here in the first uh, in the first 20 seconds. The first trap of the game. I don't know if it's worth it, but uh, Healers uh, got one and a half minute trinket, so why not? Yekovic, big damage here. As well as Sanuka. Sanuka has uh, to... Or Halunki has to trade the Cocoon for this damage intake. And Yekovic gets dangerously low. Has to trade... Uh, turtle here and <laughs> all that is happening in the first 45 seconds so what is going on in this setup in this matchup i mean okay big damage here on xanuka they're doing really good darkness traded here and they go through darkness and they're dealing insane damage and kill this warrior through darkness holy shit what is happening here that was what we call in German a Machtdemonstration here from a team We Got Snoopy. And they got the match point here and decided this round for their team. And they are moving up to the next round.
Nein. I missed the trap, my bad. Reclone here. Nein! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Ah, oh, not bad, not bad. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Wir müssen da, da müssen wir mehr reingehen. Nicht schlecht gespielt, oder? Nicht schlecht. Junge, Junge, Junge. Egal, Rückmatch hier. Rückmatch. Nach hinten wird die Endeffekt fett. Ich habe zu viel, zu lange auf meine Cooldowns gewartet. Ich muss da. Schneller rein buttern. Und meine Traps waren nicht äh, on point. A bit unlucky. Oh no!
Das ist gut, das ist gut. Ah! Sad life! Man, so close! But they did really, really good. Well played here, Team We Got Snoopy. Deserved win, GG's, man. I'm proud to be part of my team and faced you uh, guys. That was awesome. I like GG's. Well fucking played, yeah. There's nothing we can say. That was awesome. That was really awesome. Yeah, especially that. Not a Mist Reaver main, but uh, I did good. Yes, you did indeed. Really good gameplay. That was nice. That was nice. GG's. All right. Take a look at this bracket. We got Snoopy. Great job at this uh, point. And I'm uh, on one side. I'm sad that I lost against Snoopy because <laughs> I wanted that win uh, that much. But um, it's good that they are going. Uh... Wait. No, all good, all good, all good. It's quite uh, fucked up uh, the design of it, but. Um... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Team We Got Snoopy is facing the loser of this round, and then the winner goes up to the final. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. All right. Okay. The next game we uh, we will see at this point is Precock Masters versus LF Mempers. Okay. And I said, I'm one on one side, I'm sad that we lost. But my team and the other team did a really good job. But on the other side, I'm happy that my team is not going to the finals. So uh, I can give away my gold and don't earn it back. <laughs> so you all have uh, something to get here. All right. Really good, really good, really good. All right. I have to deactivate my add ons. All right, who we got here? Precock Masters. That's uh, Nessie, if I remember. Where are you? Here we go. Nessie versus LF Mempers. So where's the 1.7? All right. The the half final. <laughs> Halbfinale hier uh, zwischen Precock Masters and Elf Mempers. Here we go. All right. Let me reset details quick. Okay, what we are having now here is Team Precock Masters. It's that's the most insane team. It's Fire Mage, and that they, they did a really good job in the last few uh, games, and they 
took out uh, we got snoopy in the uh, in the previous uh bracket so we got here precock masters nasty on resto shaman Ezers on fire mage and deathly on shadow priest facing looking for members 1.7 what a legend name and i <laughs> can't tell you enough but on his rest of Druid, Berserker on DH and Denoni on DK. Here we go. Danke fürs Folgen. By MZ. Thank you for following and you're welcome. Fire Mage drops low. Combustion is running, wall totem is placed, but uh, nobody's dropping right now. Okay, fire mage low, fire mage really low. The shadow priest is trying to get some off fields here to support Nessie while he was uh, in CC, and that uh, they did uh, really good. Sign, thank you for following, man. And the fire mage goes low. Cauterize proc here. And we've seen it so many times that the fire mage is is popping or is procking. Cauterize is using his block and it's so close all the time. But there's always that one moment which makes this team come back even more harder and explosive. That's so insane. Nessie is trying to get his mage back to life. There we go. Stun on uh, Nessie. Ezer also stun life swap here from the Shadow Priest. Danoni drops low as well. Swap here on Shadow Priest. But Nessie can uh, top uh, his Shadow Priest. But he's running out of the double earth totem. Man, I'm, I'm so unlucky for, for shamans for this poor spell design we, we are seeing here right now. I'm al always the candidate in shuffles or uh, other types of uh, arena who's running out of this totem as well. I'm just running out of it. But uh, if you uh, see the healing breakdown, you will see how much this totem is healing actually. So... Please, Blizzard, take this uh, at um, and suggestion uh, to redesign the wall totem so people can see it better. Danoni goes low. Silence here on Nessie. Ezus has to block this go. Jesus Christ! And combustion is running. Still running. Still running. We got the uh, another wall totem. We got the healing type, but Ezus is execute range. Stun here on Nessie, the micro CC kicks in, but alter time back to half-life. <laughs> Man, what what is wrong? What is with the healing tide totem? He don't needs it. He's lassoing the deep... Oh, big damage here on Azores again. And he's going down. I think this team might have found uh, its kryptonite here. Okay. No uh, comp changes so far. So they stick to their original team. Let's see how they perform. And uh, quite a bigger arena. I think it's the biggest uh, that we've got. Oh. Or am I wrong? Am I wrong? I don't know. Seems like it. Maybe it's uh, advantage caster here. But uh, we will see. Rematch. And <laughs> the DK and DH were sticking together and jumping right into the fight. Big combustion here in the opener on Denoni. Stun into fear from the Shadow Priest on the heel. And Denoni is dropping really low. Wow. And he still holds his anti magic shield and zone while getting this low. Berserker here. Swap on Berserker. Ring here the the trends ring the trends maybe the, uh, what we are see oh, okay he didn't hit the trends but that would be an insane uh, gameplay move if if he actually hit the trends uh, and stopped them from uh, casting and 
supporting the rest of Druid. Azor's drop slow, almost dead. Traded uh, counterize, uh, traded counterize, counterize Brock and traded his uh, altar time a little too late. So he might could have uh, saved uh, the counterize proc. But it is what it is. And we've seen uh, Berserk here getting CC down from uh, the mage and the shaman. Denoni, under 50%. And it seems like team um, looking for members is struggling to get uh, the overhand in in this matchup. As us dropped low, drop is dropping low. Still fifty percent life. He used uh, alter time, but yeah, I don't know. No defensives at this point. He's lining Nasi. Uh, he has to move in. Off heals here by Deathly. One point seven here. As us under uh, under fifty percent. It's so insane to see. I'm just waiting for the one explosive go. We got the we got um, combustion here in five seconds. So will they get value out of it? Are they waiting for the perfect setup? Maybe uh, to CC the healer. I don't know. Combustion is running. Here comes the damage. But it's not enough. Or Danuni drops slow. And the damage is running. The damage is running. I, I might question myself what the mage is actually playing here. Is he playing full haste? Or is he abusing... I mean, he's not playing flame strikes. So I'm, I'm, I'm not thinking that he's abusing the actual... Of, actually flame strike i will take a look at the details if he did a lot of damage with um with a living bomb but it seems like he's playing haste build we'll see but but he's uh, almost, he's also doing top damage in this uh, comp okay the shadow is uh, hunting down the <laughs> the rest of druid with the silence and Azos drops dangerously low and is trying to kite here uh, both DPS. Now, there comes the grip onto the healer from Danuni. Big damage here on Berserker. Anti magic zone. Darkness also has been traded and the druid is almost home and at that point the shaman is quite an advantage because rest of druid is, is, is uh, draining mana really really heavy while reapplying all hots but as a stro is dropping low healing tight here from Nessie can the mage get get topped here Last tree form here from uh, 1.7 got stunned uh, by the uh, Shadow Priest. And this is the 1-1. One, one. Will that be the one? Danuni goes down. Berserker still living. Berserker still living. He's trying to get uh, maybe one kill. But that's the... <laughs> What is this team doing? Precock masters are owning. <laughs> you know, Precock masters is owning this tournament. Is still best of three? Is still best of three? Only the the final is uh, best of five. The grand final, the last final, the final final. All right, the teams are getting in position. There comes the drip on the fire mage. The the drip 
the grip onto the fire mage and he's trading his combustion to deal the most damage done and berserker and danuni are both dropping low while the shadow priest is uh, seeing here 1.7 he swaps immediately into the tree has to trade the bark skin uh, the the iron bark for his teammates and get them back to life and now they are almost fine but we will see the mage uh, the mage still got uh, cauterized he drops low at this point but still got cauterized here comes the knockback from the mage and denuni already low again and there there he comes there it goes the cauterize has been procced and denuni what is this Full polymorph on 1.7 while he was incauterized. That's mage gameplay. That is fucking mage gameplay. <laughs> Which name? <laughs> Tell me what mage has the nerves to to throw out a full polymorph on the rest to draw it while having his cauterize procced. This guy, this dude has balls. I don't know. This dude has balls and secures the win here for Team Precog Masters. Okay. 1.7. The one rest to Druid with the insane name. With Berserker on DH and Denuni on DK. Forming the group. I forgot the name. Looking for members. Versus. Team We Got Snoopy, Ray on his Mistweaver healer and Snoopy on his Feral Druid and Jankovic on Beastmaster playing the Jungle Cleave. Here we go. All right, we're going in. 1.7 here. Diamond Trap. Danuni drops low right in the uh, in the opener in the beginning. Iron Bark has been traded. Yankovic uh, is taking a lot of damage as well. But both healers got their teammates back up. Ray is also pumping the heals. And there comes the stun and the clone here from from Snoopy. He, he uh, the DH might. Uh, glimpsed it snoopy takes a lot of damage below 50 percent but this uh, druid i can tell you he has ner nerves <laughs> out of steel and um is uh, still trying to get the clones off clone here from uh, 1.7 onto snoopy <laughs> the re-clone from snoopy on 1.7 and there he goes with the big bites Rushing in clone here on uh, DH and um, team looking for members has to do a quite better job to stop these clones because this is what uh, makes this jungle cleave so hard to beat and uh, but al also hard to master because uh, if the druid is not able to get the clones off they will get stumped down in many cases but we will see how they are doing. 1.7 here, got the, the kick here from Snoopy, bash into clone Snoopy here, Jankovic is dropping low, and Snoopy is quite out of the game right now, he has to sit the full clone, he got kicked on the clone, on the next clone, Jankovic, low life, 50% life, silence here on Ray, this is getting diff, uh, Cocoon, trade it, well played, well played. Okay, here comes the damage onto the DH and the uh, DK. Clone on Jankovic. 1.7 is doing a really good job here. Setting up the clones uh, to take out uh, a lot of damage. While sitting in tree. And get those trend procs. Enter magic shield here traded by uh, Denuni. And Jankovic uh, might be the target of choice here for team uh, looking for members. Mm. 
Jankovic is low. Traded Turtle. Okay. That was really difficult. That was really difficult. Or close. I mean, that was close. Diamond Trap here on 1.7. Big damage here on Danuni. He's trading uh, the anti-magic zone. I don't know if he gets value out of this. Uh, why <laughs> both uh, enemies are... Uh, are trading blade and physical damage. Ink cap here on 1.7 might not be the best choice because that DRs the trap is following up. Yeah. Okay, Danuni is getting damage here. The DK is the target of choice here. Also, as Yenko is uh, for the other team. Triple is done here. Berserker is uh, setting up the hunt. And what we're seeing now is 1.7. Doing the drink to get back mana up. And he, he got like 10% mana. He was uh, close to be Oom. But Ray was drinking as well at, on this point. And has a, a slightly higher mana advantage. Danoni. Clone here on uh, 1.7. Big damage here on DK. And is he dying? Diamond trap as well. Is And he's going down. Well played. What was that for? Uh, for? And CC chain we saw here. <laughs> Don't blame me on my bad English. But what have we uh, seen here? clone into stun into trap into kill this dk and that's one point uh, uh for uh, team we got snoopy all right rematch here versus we got snoopy and looking for map uh, looking for members match point here on team we got snoopy because I'm, I'm I'm afraid. No, no, I'm not afraid. I'm excited. I'm really excited. He's gonna make it right now. Ferret is back. Yes. Seems like it. But uh, I guess Fire Mage is back as well. So let me see uh, what they are doing in the grand final. All right. Here we go. Big damage on Ray right at the start and that might be a good strategy to uh, force a lot of cooldowns here diamond trap on 1.7 darkness also has been traded they, they are training they are training the monk clone here on berserk to peel off uh, the dh from the monk the monk get, uh, gets back to full life really good team play here from snoopy But they are sitting. They are sitting on Ray. They want them to go down. But that's. But but, I don't know if that that might be a misplay. I mean, on one side, Monk is really squishy and can go down really really fast. But that opens the door for the Feral to get off clones, take out damage, and every time this Feral clones somebody, he's doing insane damage. That's how uh, Farrell uh, Ray Ray gets down. Okay, cocoon traded here. Clone on cocoon. Really good reaction here from one point seven. They did really good on this. Ray fifty percent again, and they training them. They are training Ray. They want him to die. DK also big damage here big damage big damage Snoopy is a bit rooted here and her magic shield has been traded clone here on Snoopy uh, Snoopy is trying to clone here berserker but he glimpsed the clone big damage here here comes the clone he got stopped and isn't it Ray still below 60% life. 
he's porting. And maybe he can uh, set new ports. But he's running. He's kiting really, really good. And Danuni and Berserk, both are low here. And is it it? Is it it? He has done Diamond Trap here on 1.7. Berserk really, really low. Danuni as well, really low. Netherwalk has been trading. And 1.7 is pumping those seeds. And the H goes down. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a game. Jesus Christ, they did really, really good. And they made it. They made it. They made it to the grand final. Okay. What we are seeing right now is the fucking grand final of the 3v3 today's international tournament. And I'm excited. I'm excited how they will perform. Especially that fire mage. Okay, they are trying to kill uh, the statue from the monk. But here we go. Stun trap onto the shaman. Big opener here from Snoopy. He got locked down. <laughs> Double leg sweep into trap here from the monk. Wall totem is still out and they are pumping Jankovic. Okay, I think uh, now I deactivated the follower sound. I don't know if it's still running through. Snoopy gets dangerously low and dies. What the fuck? I, I, I was, I was. <sighs> what a first game. All right, first point in the best of five grand final here for uh, Precock Masters. Next arena, Mugambala. Reset the details. There the hunter goes. He got the pet uh, in the double route. So now there comes the stun into the diamond trap. Snoopy uh, already 50% HP. Azurus gets really damaged here. Combustion is running. Snoopy extremely low at this point. Oh, Jesus Christ. Precock masters are doing so much damn. What is happening? Heart of the Wild is running. The uh, totem gets killed. Snoopy is still low. Gets the cocoon traded here. Ezra is also low, but still got the uh, cauterized proc up. And they are rooting the pets. They are rooting the pets from Jankovic. So he can't uh, really deal damage besides the... Uh... And both DPS are going low. This is so insane. Cauterized proc here from Ezers. Diamond trap here on Nessie. And the mage goes down. Really good job here by Jankovic and Snoopy. They did an amazing job here locking down the shaman. But he got, also got a trinket ready. Oh, that was so close, man. The mage could have blocked. The, the shaman could have used trinket. There's so much they uh, they could do. But what are, uh, what am I talking about? That's uh, happening in almost uh, uh, milliseconds. 
so maybe there was a, a little problem in the communication between bo both uh, teammates who is uh, pressing which um, cooldown. Oh, Jesus Christ. What a comeback. We got now... I mean, they are still fighting, but uh, at this point, maybe deci the decision has already been made, so... But maybe there's a comeback. I don't know. But I guess uh, Deathly will go down. Stun fear here on Ray. Jagovic has to trade Turtle in the last second. And there comes the grounding for the, uh, the diamond trap. And Shadow Priest goes down. And that's the one point for uh, Team We Got Snoopy. And one point for Precock Masters. And. Man, this is so awesome. I'm so excited to see more of these games. Here we go. Yankovic on his way to get the stun trap done. And they are trying to knock down the mage. Snoopy opens right now. There comes the stun into the diamond trap. They are both, we have to say, Team Snoopy is not playing on voice. I think the only two guys who are communicating with each other are the healer and uh, Yenko. But to get this opener done without communication says it all. That is really good team play. Wall Totem, Yenko, low. Ezra's also low. Turtle has been used here. But uh, Ray was sitting in Frog. So might be not a bad uh, trade here. Snoopy. Below 50%. Got the cocoon here. Fear still on Ray. And Ezra's counterized Proc into block. There's so much. I, I don't know where to look. On the left side, I have Snoopy's team, or team we got Snoopy. On the right side, we got Precock Masters, and there's happening so much. Yankovic, below 50%. Trinket, silence here on Ray. Snoopy and Yankovic, both low here. Ray has to do a really good job to get them uh, back to life. But he did it somehow. And now there's, here's their turn. Will Azus li uh, live it? Clone here on Nessie. Stun here on Azus. Diamond trap on Nessie. But he's sitting in wall totem. And there's the life swap from Deathly. The Shadow Priest and uh, Snoopy uh, immediately clones it. Both are down. Uh, both are low life. <laughs> both are down. Oh man. Snoopy here. Get counter spade. Silence on Snoopy. Cocoon here. And I don't know if it's the right choice. I mean, on the other hand, we have they have to stop the clones. On the other side, they have to control Ray. But um, it's a monk. Jankovic! low here and goes down and what are we seeing here it's it's a back and forth game here all the time and Jankovic goes down but Snoopy is still playing Snoopy is still playing and he's okay he's going down he's going down really good play here from uh, Precock Masters this is awesome to see for Precock Masters there's all on the line right now they can close it they can decide this Tournament to be their victory. I don't know. I'm, I'm talking crazy shit, but I hope you can understand what I'm thinking about. And man, I've never been so excited. This is so crazy. Shadow Priest Fire Mage. 
so crazy. Maybe jungle is dead. I don't know. We will see. We will see. All right. Yank is running, trying, trying to dodge the root totem from the shaman. And they are going in right now. Almost immediately they stunned it. The priest gripped the shaman in the opener, but the trap still landed. And there comes the big damage on Snoopy. And the pets are all rooted in the ring of frost. They did, they countered that opener so insane. Good job from Precog Masters. And at this point, Snoopy and Yankovic are both dropping low here right now. And oh jesus christ good healing output here from ray and azos still low clone here on nazi's uh nazi he has to trade his uh his trinket to get azos back up and more damage is coming more damage is coming and this is yeah this is the pre uh the precock i just <laughs> i don't know what to say that's the counterize run the mage and he goes down what are they doing man what the fuck? What an insane gameplay. And I could imagine a grand final being that... I don't know. I'm missing the words to describe my feelings right now. That's the two points for Team We Got Snoopy against the two points for Team <laughs> Precock Masters. Jesus Christ, what is here happening? what is here happening <laughs> i'm thinking in german and speaking in english that's uh, really awful to hear i can understand this but man i'm so fucking excited they are both teams now have match point both teams now have match point the next round Okay, it's it's not done. Like we've seen, they are still fighting. So I give them the chance. The shadow priest is doing great. To 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 grip the opener stun on the shaman to maybe dodge the trap. And the hunter did an amazing gameplay to still uh, uh, land the trap. Man. Okay, they, there they go down. That's the second point for uh, Team We Got Snoopy. Big arena. We've seen several times this evening. It's a good arena for Team Precog Masters. We also seen uh, in this evening. But I don't know. I can't tell you. Both teams are fighting right now. For the W of the 3v3 International Community Tournament today. Here we go. They are preparing uh, the setup. Here comes the stun. There comes the grip. And uh, the, the knockback and the trap both landed. And there comes the damage. Sting here on Ezra's. Combustion is running. Polymorph is, uh, is uh, spammed by the mage. Big damage here on Jankovic. Fear on uh, Ray. And Snoopy is trying to get the clones to take out, uh, out uh, some damage. Again, reclone, reclone. Big damage here on Snoopy. 
Oh, uh, there. The cocoon has been traded here on Yankovic. But Snoopy is fine. At least for the moment. And Azos gets trained. Block. Tauterize and block. That's a good uh, good one for uh, Team We Got Snoopy. Ray here in, into the stun. Followed up maybe by a fear. No. Dispel here from Ray. On the fear on Snoopy. Lasso here on Snoopy. So... They are pumping. The mage is uh, rooting here uh, the pets from the Beastmaster. Stun. Er, er gripped. <laughs> the priest is gripping. And Yankovic goes down! No! With turtle up! With turtle up! No! No! What a go! No, well played. Both teams well deserved here from Precock uh, Pre Masters. They did it. They did it. They pulled out the Fire Mage and did it in this game. Jesus Christ, what? What has happened this evening? Guys, <laughs> Precock Masters took the last point and won the tournament.